Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. School shooters in Texas will now think twice about shooting up a school after what they face off against. Anyone thinking about shooting up a school in Texas will have to think twice about the opposition they're likely to face if they make it that far. After the recent slew of incidents involving violence at schools, there are some politicians who are working toward new solutions to help make schools safer. Various laws, rules adjustments in schools, and adjustments are being considered. Some of the new suggestions involve one of the most common-sense solutions which is Governor Greg Abbott wanting more armed personnel inside the school buildings. Abbott is considering hiring American Armed Forces veterans to help with school safety. It's been proven that many schools with armed guards or police officers suffer less shooting incidents or the incidents are much smaller than that of what happened in places like Parkland, Florida. However, that is with the exception of the Broward police, who proved to be cowards as they let their students perish while standing around outside not doing anything. Many people who look to commit a school shooting often target a school when it is unguarded and not protected. Common sense says that every school should have armed police. Airports and other important places have it, so why not schools? There's a lot in the new Texas plan for safety, some things many other states might want to discuss. The Texas Tribune went into more detail. Governor Greg Abbott's suggestions for limiting mass shooting deaths in Texas include a bevy of changes to state law, a culture shift in how law enforcement officers patrol their communities, increases in mental health practices at schools and help for educators who want to improve their abilities to remove potentially dangerous students from classrooms. Here's what you need to know about the 40-page school and firearm safety action plan that Abbott released in Dallas on Wednesday. While Abbott's plan doesn't call for any new state statutes that directly limit who can buy guns, it does aim to close some loopholes in laws that already bar some people from purchasing or owning firearms. And it does call for lawmakers to strengthen existing criminal penalties for some people whose GS are used to injure or kill people. I can assure you I will never allow Second Amendment rights to be infringed but I will always promote responsible GN ownership," Abbott said Wednesday. The governor wants courts to report felony convictions, mental health adjudications and protective orders that can block people from buying GS within 48 hours instead of 30 days. In Texas, parents can be criminally prosecuted if they don't safely store a loaded GS that end up being used in certain crimes by children who are 16 years old and younger. Abbott wants to include 17-year-olds in that law remove the provision that only allows for prosecution if the guns were loaded when children access them and increase the criminal penalty from a Class A misdemeanor to a third-degree felony. The plan also calls for requiring GN owners to report when their firearms are lost or stolen. The plan mentions a potential red flag law that would allow judges to temporarily take GS away from people deemed to be dangerous if there is legal due process. Abbott didn't call for legislators to pass such a law, he instead wants to encourage lawmakers to consider the merits of adopting it. Outgoing House Speaker Joe Strauss took him up on that late Wednesday and instructed a committee of the lower chamber to study such legal provisions. In the coming days, I will issue other interim charges designed to help prevent another school shooting, Strauss said in a prepared statement. Abbott's proposal also calls for encouraging voluntary use of GN locks. It mentions that Ohio requires dealers to also sell access prevention devices and that Maine requires dealers to demonstrate how to use trigger lock devices. The plan says Texas could emulate these laws, but does not list them as an explicit recommendation for lawmakers. The Safety Action Plan says that schools and local law enforcement agencies should work closer together to increase how often officers are at schools. That includes making campuses regular stops on officers' patrols and giving them rooms inside schools to stop and file reports while on duty. Abbott also wants to increase the number of school marshals legally allowed at each campus, streamline the 80-hour training course required to become a marshal and repeal the legal requirement that marshals safely store their firearms. And he'd like to see schools prioritize the hiring of retired police officers and military veterans as resource officers. It's all about common sense and thinking of strategies that work. If there's an armed guard willing to protect a school, then there's less likely a chance that someone would approach and begin firing a weapon. If there's someone to push back against an attack, then the attack is often going to be avoided because the person planning it may not want to face the opposition. On the contrary, anyone who commits an act of violence will always face an opposition at some point, but the reason for the armed guards is to lessen the impact and try to prevent the attacks from happening in the first place. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.